Hello everybody, Jordan Gasly here. I am back at the Georgia World Congress Center. I don't know if you remember last year, I came to an up and coming convention called the Atlanta Comic Con. It was the first year. Well, I'm back for year number two. We're here on a Saturday this time. Last Friday, or whenever I came on Friday last year, it wasn't as busy. So I'm hoping to see a lot more people and a lot more cosplay. And I'm also joined by my buddy Ryan. Hey buddy. Hey buddy. Hey buddy. Funny to see you here. Uh, well, we drove here together in the same car. <laughs> no. Ryan and I are gonna go check out this convention, so come along with us. Let's go. We have to go get our badges. However, it smells oddly delicious down here. Yeah, it smells like hot dogs and popcorn. I, I said delicious, Ryan. What did I say? You said hot dogs and popcorn. Yeah. Okay. Put butter on both. <laughs> yeah, you know what? Yeah. Well, there's a line here for credit and a line here for cash. And uh, I don't have cash on me, so. The longer line it is. Oh, thanks, man. Appreciate it. We're in. Oh, no. I didn't realize I was going into outer space. Watch out. Dude, aim for the nose. The nose. The, the nose. Hold on to your butts. I just walked in and haven't had a chance to look around, but the first thing I see that catches my eye is this giant inflatable Jabba the Hutt. I wonder if he has a giant inflatable Han Solo and Carbonite. All right, so Ryan and I have been here for an hour? Maybe a little bit more. We haven't even checked out half of the floor here. Um, I'm a little hesitant on filming some of the stuff because some people I, I feel like are hesitant about having their stuff filmed. I'm gonna try to film as much as I can, but we haven't seen half the floor yet. No. So, onwards and upwards. Round three. <laughs> Wait, we're not done with round one yet. Sure. I think this Hisfit shirt might be coming home with me. I'm also pretty partial to this Optimus Prime. But check out these tiki planters and 60 bucks. Oh god, I love those. As we observe Orion in his natural habitat of shopping for Funko Pops, we see, oh no, he spotted us. It was a shipwreck from G.I. Joe. So, uh, for my first purchase, I had absolutely no choice when I saw a Good Burger poster in an anime style. I, but I, the, a Bagoda <laughs> and George Clinton. Oh, come on. It was so hard to pick how many anime A Bagodas and George Clinton posters are around here. I just had to find one. Well, I think you found the one. You don't think there's multiple A Bagoda Sailor Moons? I see, there are a dime a dozen. <laughs> And much like last year, right on the back wall of this entire area is all of the celebrities that come and hang out. Creed Bratton from The Office is here. David Yost, who was a uh, was a Power Ranger, uh, the voice of Kevin or the, the voice of Kevin Conroy. Kevin Conroy, the voice of Batman from the animated series, is here. I myself am not an autograph chaser, but some pretty cool people here for the Atlanta Comic Con this weekend. Hey, Ryan popular cosplay this year, and not a lot of people know about it, is bearded guy with a lot of representation. So, if you will look at one of the people. I seriously thought that guy was Ryan. <laughs> I, we went into a booth, and I turned around, and I started a sentence. And then I realized it wasn't Ryan. 
Luckily, the guy didn't see me or walk away, but then I was like, oh, that's not Ryan. I, I would just like to point out, and I know how feeble this is, I'm not wearing khaki shorts. He didn't get it all the way right. I think we're gonna try and break for lunch. We did half the dealer room. I bought something, Ryan bought something, but now I think we need to refuel. So let's go ahead and find something to eat. We are right across the street from the CNN building, and right this way is a food court with a bunch of options. So, time to recharge. I forgot my Anderson Cooper passport. I'm gonna have to go as Chuck Todd again. <laughs> I think he's MSNBC. All right, we decided to stop at the Burger Fi. I ended up getting a double cheeseburger. Probably against my better judgment, I ended up ordering the large order of onion rings. Ryan got a large order of fries and this used to be a double cheeseburger. While we're here in the CNN building, uh, I think we're gonna check out this Cartoon Network store and see what they have for sale. Should I get these Rick and Morty sunglasses? No. I'm really happy that there's a cow and chicken t-shirt in here. However, when was the last time this was actively on Cartoon Network? Johnny Bravo? Just add a kid. I feel like this makes me really uncomfortable. Hey, Ryan, do you, do you, do you I'm not even gonna finish the joke. Was like, it just add a kid? Yeah. If I told you today, in this video, right now, you would see a dolphin dressed up like Conan O'Brien. Would you believe me? Kind of really into this Adventure Time t-shirt. Well, I'm really glad that you guys got away from that mind flare. And also, you cleaned up really nice, Steve. I really appreciate it. That black eye is looking really good. Thank you. Yes. Scoops away! There's an arcade here, again. I'm not too sure if it's the same games, but we're gonna go take a little bit of a closer look, see what we can find. Oh man, do you think this guy's gonna go play Mortal Kombat? Wait, hold on a second. I have never realized that there were sit-in modules for Mario Kart. All right, here we go. Start a new game. Oh, and here we go. Making sure I don't look anything like that cosplay guy. Which cosplay guy? Um, the cos me cosplay. <laughs> oh, here we go. Fighter captured. See, I meant to do that. The trick is though, if you fire too many times, you can accidentally kill your fighter. So what you have to do is hit it once, and then boom! Now I have the now I have double the firepower. Oh, fifth. Uh, well, 
listen. Fifth, fifth on the game, first in our hearts. All right, I know what I have to do. An original Donkey Kong cabinet. Look at this artwork. Donkey Kong. Look at Mario. It looks so much different now. Excuse me, sir. Do you know that there's a potential Donkey Kong question? Okay. Sorry to bother you. I stopped off at this booth called Drex9 Studios and they have all of this really amazing light box art and I'm pretty interested in this Haunted Mansion Hitchhiking Ghost light box for 65 bucks. It's not too shabby. There's a Sam from Trick or Treat, which is one of my favorite movies. There's also an animal and a creature. One of the Martians from Mars Attacks and uh, the whole gang of the Universal Monsters. <sighs> Stopped off at this booth called Geek Mountain and uh, I about geeked out because I saw all of these amazing Ghoulsville wall decor uh, decorations that are based off the old vintage Ben Cooper and Collegeville masks. And uh, there's one right past this gentleman right here. <laughs> this is a very fine owner right next to me here of Geek Mountain. Hello, sir. Thank you for letting me film in your, in your booth. And uh, I'm very tempted for the mummy right here. Uh, this it's a good chance that might be coming home with me. If anybody needs to relive 1995 and 1996, there's uh, some Beanie Babies for your collection there. Found a booth with some vintage toys. There's a headless headmaster transformer here and there's a uh, one of the old pop-up transformers named twin twist you'd pull him back but as he would go he would jump up and transform and stand up well hopefully stand up uh, let's see what else we got here who's this uh, that is I think that's somebody from the movie I'm not too sure he doesn't know I mean he should right there's a shockwave back there from uh, the generation one cartoon and uh, is that a VR trooper? A case from what appears to look like a whole bunch of old Ultraman figures. Uh, Shogun Warriors, I think that's what it was. Yeah, Shogun Warriors. It says it right there. There's a tiny Godzilla. Actually, I kind of like this tiny Godzilla. He does not have a price on him, though. Not too sure what this is. How much is it, though? Uh, it's 40 bucks, whatever it is. We got this uh, bootleg transformer. Oh my god, where did you find those? Uh, Alright, well, hold on a second. <laughs> There's a, oh, ooh, there's a Godzilla and an egg. It's, it's $10. Pretty good. I, is that how Godzilla's are birthed? Yeah, giant uh, exact. It's white, what? There's uh, some more, what I guess, what I'm assuming is like Ultraman characters in this case here. Not exactly too sure what they are, but hey, Jordan, a lot of old vintage stuff. Jordan, remember on the way up here when you were telling me like, I really want a Ziploc bag full of the raisins. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Here you go. Yeah. The California raisins. Oh, nice. That's like old raisin. <laughs> there's, there's jive raisin. There's fuzzy raisin. Fuzzy <laughs> raisin. They call him expired raisin. Okay. 
Ryan just found this Moss Man figure from Masters of the Universe, and it still has all the moss intact. How much is he? Uh, Five bucks? I might end up getting this Moss Man figure for five bucks. What other what other Masters of the Universe stuff so here's do you have? Here's a ten that it comes with her. I don't know who she is. Uh, so we get a looks like Tila and another Moss Man. Dude, look at this! A talking Dream Master of Jungle Book. There's a Buzz Off, a Man at Arms, the new Mechanek, the Double Dragon Brothers. Tila, is this? Oh, that's a uh, Mumra from. Gollum? No, it's Mumra. Yeah, young from uh, stop it. The Mumra from uh, Thundercats. And then over here, there's a Merman from uh, Masters of the Universe. There's another Mumra in the case, next to a Snarf and a Panther and a Lion-O. Snarf, snarf, snarf. I found a case with some old vintage Star Wars figures. There's a Bosk, a couple of Chewbacca's, and a Hoth, a Hoth Han. Excuse me there. There's a, an R2-D2, but I think that's one of the newer R2-D2's. And uh, I don't know what Kevin Costner's Robin Hood is doing in Star Wars, but he needs to get the heck out of here. There's also a gaming room here. You can purchase some games, but also there are a lot of games you can check out. You exchange your ID or your license and you can take a game right over here to one of these tables and just hang out and enjoy some game time with your pals. I'm not playing any games with you. That sounded way more like stern than it, than I needed it to. It sounded like mom, I'm not playing any it games like with you. Mom jigsaw. <laughs> I don't want to play. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Ryan, spin the wheel. I don't know what he's gonna win. Come on. My mom. No whammies. Oh, no whammies. No whammies. No whammies. There you go. I got a ducky. You got a ducky. <laughs> you got a ducky. So it's just a pick of them. Yep. Pick, pick which okay. ducky you want. Which one do you, you think those are sunflowers or not sun? Uh, oh, I don't just know. Just cute flowers. That's all. I'll get one with a oh. umbrella. There you all go. Right. All cool, right. Cool. Thank you. No look. Even R2 decided to show up today. All right. Well, I didn't realize that coming to the Atlanta Comic Con, I would be standing next to such royalty. The king of Zamunda. My is son here. works. <laughs> so, and I'm I'm, in, I'm really uh, impressed by your. Your royal lion attire right here, but I, I also had noticed you a uh, little bit of a Lion King fan too, huh? I'm also the father of Simba. Uh, wait, hold on. Wait a minute. I'm also the father of Simba. I'm the father. You deliberately disobey. <laughs> Everything the light touches. Everything the light touches will be yours. <laughs> you must never go there. That's the cater. <laughs> <laughs> That's a local reference for all you guys watching the vlog. <laughs> Towards the end of the day, it is about 6.30 and the con floor closes in about 30 minutes. Not many people out here right now. The crowd seems to have thinned out, but I think that is our cue to also hit the road. So that is going to do it for us at the Atlanta Comic Con this weekend. Uh, Ryan, thanks for coming and hanging out with me yeah, this man. weekend. Thanks for having so, me. Uh, I really appreciate it. Um, I might have a hard cut. I don't know. <laughs> maybe, maybe I'll end up. Maybe I'll, no, you know what? I'm just gonna sign up right here. So, wait, uh, but like we should do it both. Like we should both do the the hard cut and then cut to you at home. No, because I think I'm just gonna end it right now. Okay, but what if, hear me out. All right. We do 
one last thing up here so that I can do hard cut. Okay. All of this is just for me to do hard cut. Okay, what, then what are we going to do? Hard cut. So, uh, if you're new here, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Uh, if you've come back many times, thank you so much. It really does mean the world to me that you like these vlogs, or you watch these vlogs. Uh, I don't know if you like them or not. <laughs> well. Well, if you like them though, why don't you go ahead and give them a thumbs up right there. Click the bell notification, it'll keep you in the loop. And if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. I really appreciate it. What Make were sure you... that you guys follow me on my pages. That's Magic Geekdom on YouTube. That is not, <laughs> that is not you. That is, you are a Jeremy impersonator. First off, I saw an impersonator of me this time, and I don't think that was Jeremy. No, because it was an impersonator of you. Right. Magic Geek. This has gone off the rails. I tried to like end the vlog three times already. Well, you know all you have to do.